<laughs> well, oh. when it comes to iconic music stars like Larry with the ukulele, yes. they don't get much bigger than the Wiggles, though. The Rolling Stones may have performed over 2,000 shows together, but the Kids Entertainment Group have put on more than 6,000. Yeah, they're so much better than the Rolling Stones. <laughs> now the foursome are gearing up for a brand new tour, but it's what's happening off stage. It's got everyone talking. Have a look. They're the world's most popular kids' entertainment group. Hot potato, hot potato. Formed by four Sydney Siders 25 years ago, the Wiggles have gone on to smash records here and around the world, selling 7 million albums, 8 million books, and 23 million DVDs. In late 2012, the original cast had a bit of a shake-up, with three new members being introduced. Terry, Terry is a tiger, is a tiger, a big old member of the animal world. But it appears two of these newcomers, Emma and Lachlan, have been keeping a big secret from us, a two-year relationship. Emma Watkins and Lachlan Gillespie join us live in the studio now. Guys, we're going to ask you the tough questions. Don't be thinking that you come on some fancy little fluffy little morning show and then you get away with hiding oh. your secrets, all right? <laughs> Emma, cat's out of the bag. Oh. Um, how hard was it to keep this a secret? Because everyone's watching you all of the time. Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't that hard. It was just uh, so we, right from the get-go we wanted to really make sure that we put ourselves forward as in, in, in the job as best as possible. We, we, Wiggles have always taken themselves incredibly professionally and yeah. that's what we wanted to do. Um, so we just kind of went slow with it and kept it, a, not kept it a secret, but just did what we wanted to do and most importantly put Wiggles first. And it's come out at a nice time, I think. Yeah. And what has the reaction been from the fans? It's been overwhelmingly positive. I don't think we expected it to be even very exciting, but <laughs> so many people have written to us on Twitter and Facebook and uh, somebody said uh, we should change the words to do the propeller, uh, do the proposal. Ah, do yeah. the pro <laughs> so that's a, quite an interesting one. Because there is such great culture and, and, and history with the Wiggles that mm. there is a sense, I suppose, that people not, not feel like they own you, but they mm. know you so well yeah. and so intimate mm. with this whole concept that they've mm. grown up with it or the kids have grown up with it. Mm. So they might feel like they've got a say in what happens inside the Wiggles. And particularly yeah. because, sorry, look, yeah. particularly because they're watching us every day. And so I think they're so used to thinking that, um, you know, they know us really well. And, and now on Twitter they say, oh, I, I, I saw the, the oh, love star, uh, you yeah. know, early I mean, that, on. That clip. Yeah. That full moon clip a mum wrote. I, I wrote that one and it happens to be about Emma and, oh, she, and she wrote in I knew it from Pumpkin Faces <laughs> for Full Moon Melody. I did see you checking her out at some point. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone's trying to pick which video was the catalyst, I think. Right. Yeah, yes. and that was it. That was probably it, that well, one, right? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so you were together at the time when you wrote that song? Yes. Or you were trying to woo her? No, it, it worked. Okay. I think. <laughs> oh, that's very assured, Lockie. Yeah. Don't start something here now, no, guys. No. Please don't. We don't no. want to see the breakdown, the start of the breakdown no. here. Um, we, we, so how is it when you're touring and stuff, because you're spending a lot of time together. Mm. So after a big show, you're getting in the Tarago to go to the next gig. You're yes. sort of holding hands in the back of the Tarago. We like to think of it like that. Yeah, we do. We do. The back of the school bus stuff. <laughs> we do. It's, but you have to be aware. We travel with the, you know, Simon and Anthony the whole time as well. So in a, in a four group, you, you don't want to split off and do the two thing because it then gets uncomfortable for everyone. So that's another reason why we just wanted to be with the group the whole time and not really sure. go out on our own. But uh, no, it is. It's fun now. Now we, now we can hold hands and, and do stuff that we've wanted yeah, yeah, to for yeah. a while, which yeah. is great. And big question, do you think there could be a baby with... Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Oh. A few steps. <laughs> Patricia told me to ask that. <laughs> That's a big question. You know, you've been here for 15 minutes going for a Walkley Award. Straight away. <laughs> a, a, a baby, a, a wedding and a, a baby definitely down the track. But we, we've got a massive year this year touring. And, but all those exciting things definitely, definitely to come. What colour would the baby wing be? Yeah, it's a good question. <laughs> well, I, I think it must be olive. <laughs> Oh, okay. I don't, a green I, I th yeah, I don't think it's totally blue because purple and yellow, but I think olive's nicer than <laughs> okay. brown. It is. Yeah. No. Uh, now, you, you, you're about to tour again. Mm -hmm. Does this change anything on stage? Any of the machinations change? Now, or now that you're looking out over a crowd and you know that they know, yeah. uh, can anything change? 
We, we used to do a Cinderella story, uh, of, like a, a princess story in the show, but uh, we've been doing that for the last two years, so we've decided to change it this year. But I think even people were writing to us saying that they saw it during that show where I was the princess and Lockie was the prince and he tries to wake me up with a kiss and he gets close, but then I snore so it doesn't happen. But we're not, <laughs> we're not going to be doing that one this time. We're doing a different uh, fairy tale in this next yes, show. We are. Yeah. So you are just about to tour again? Yeah. yeah. So yes. what can fans expect from the, the next uh, tour? Well, it's a, a brand new show, a rock and roll preschool show, so it's going to be based around you know little rock and roll songs, but it's a, a great show and it's a great chance. This is our we love this part of the year because we get to go out and go all over Australia for basically um, up until June, July when we finish, so we can't wait to see everyone and it's really exciting. Hopefully. It's an incredible phenomenon, isn't it? My, my son's just about to turn 21 and he was a wiggle baby. He was mm. right into it and now uh, aged... Yeah, my daughter Frankie is too. Two and we actually right saw into... Rock and Roll Preschool the other week, mm. last week, and she loved it. She loves the Wiggles. I, I, we, we I think it's a... my favourite to date. It's my favourite right. DVD, yeah. And we have a slight problem because Frankie's in love with you, right? Yeah. So, oh, yeah. so she's so... going to be like, there's going to uh, be a rift here. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I might not tell her about this. Yeah, she, might, she might not go and watch the Rolling Stones videos yes. instead. <laughs> uh, guys, great to see you. Uh, congratulations. Great. You both look really happy. Thank and we're glad you. that you can Thank sit you. on the couch and talk about it. And, of course, we wish you, uh, you know, massive continued success as always with the Wiggles. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank Thank you. You. Right. The Wiggles Rock and Roll Preschool Tour kicks off in Sydney this weekend <laughs> and will be making its way it around the country. For dates, head over to the Daily Show info section of our website. Thanks, guys.